Hi everyone. So we have seen this calculation part in the previous video where we have calculated the register R2 value using this method voltages are equal in parallel. So VSH is equal to VM. So we have got R2 is equal to IFSD into RM into RH by V minus IFSD into RH. So IFSD is nothing but full scale reflection current RM meter resistance RH half of the full scale reflection resistance entire circuit is divided into two parts one is the meter section followed by R2 followed by R1 another one is the complete unknown resistance value Rx okay now let us see how to calculate the value of R1 we know the relation Uh, we know the relation RH is equal to R1 R1 plus R2 parallel RM from the circuit we can say that R1 plus R2 pa parallel RM so R1 plus R2 into RM by R2 plus RM so that is equal to now substitute whatever the R2 we have got there in the previous expression. Now substitute that R1 plus R2. What is R2? R2 is equal to IFSD into RM into RH divided by V minus I fsd into rh into rm all divided by r2 plus rm so again r2 i fsd rm rh divided by v minus i fsd into rh plus rm so that is equal to R1 plus. So if you take LCM in the denominator, V minus IFSD here and V minus IFSD here both gets cancelled. So IFSD RM RH into RM divided by IFSD rm rh plus rm into v minus ifsd into rh okay so that is equal to r1 plus ifsd rm rh rm divided by take ifsd rm rh common then 1 plus rm is went out rm went out so v minus ifsd into rh divided by ifsd into rh Okay. Now, see that is equal to R one plus. And what happens here? IFSD RM RH IFSD RM RH cancel, and we are left with RM divided by 1 plus divide them v by i f s d r h minus i f s d r h by i f s d r h minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 cancel so we have r1 plus r i f s d into r h into r m divided by V. 
So, but what we need? We need R1. R1 is equal to, this is equal to RH equal to. This entire thing is equal to RH. Now, we can write RH is equal to, R1 is equal to RH minus IFSD RH RM by V. This is R2 value, R1 value. Okay. So, in this way, we have to calculate R1 and R2 values for series type ohm meter. Clear? Very simple. Only we have started with the half of the full scale reflection resistor value RH. It is R1 plus R2 parallel RM. There we have started the calculation part. Clear? Now, let us see the shunt type ohm meter. Shunt type ohm meter. Shunt type ohm meter. Oh, what is the position of unknown resistor and the meter now? See clearly. The unknown resistor is connected in parallel with the meter. The unknown resistor here, the unknown resistor is connected in parallel with the meter. That's why it is a shunt type ohm meter. If you observe in the previous case, the meter is connected in series with the unknown resistance. That's why it, that is a series type ohm meter, but it is shunt type ohm meter. Okay. Now, here also we have a battery supply V and the resistor R1. Uh, there in the previous case, we have taken two resistors R1 and R2. But here we have taken only one resistor R1. That is a variable resistor. We have taken single resistor that to a variable resistor. And additionally, we have connected a switch also. What is the purpose of a switch? Can you guess what is the purpose of a switch? In the previous case, in the series type ohm meter, this switch was not there. It is an additional feature here. The purpose of switch is when we are not performing any experiment, the battery is saved by disconnecting from the circuit. Suppose the switch is closed always, the battery produces the current and meter having the current in series. So meter always has some current from the battery. But if you open circuit the circuit, the battery, battery simply eliminates from the circuit. So battery will not work in the non-conducting, non performing experiment conditions hope it is clear okay now the unknown resistance is connected in parallel with the meter between the points e and b now let us see what is the dial of this ohm meter shunt type ohm meter see the dial if you observe this dial dial is having zero ohms on the left side and infinity ohms on the right side which is quite opposite case of the series type ohm meter in the series type ohm meter right side we have zero ohms and left side we have infinity ohms okay how it is the here okay we have seen the explanation in the previous case of how the meter is moving from right to left now let us see in this case how the meter is moving from left to right see when the unknown resistance rx is equal to zero ohms what do you mean by zero ohms short circuited zero ohms is nothing but short circuited so when a and b are short circuited when a and b are short circuited what if what about the current flowing through the meter see when a and b are short circuited there exists a maximum amount of current flowing through this short circuit <coughs> so almost im is equal to zero so the full scale reflection current flowing through the meter is equal to zero that means no current flowing through the meter means the needle is at the initial position only. Needle is at the initial position only. That's why 0 ohms and 0 current. And assume Rx is equal to infinity ohms. Means open circuited. Rx is equal to infinity ohms. Open circuited. If you open circuit the terminals A and B, what happens? Whatever the current flowing through the circuit, the entire current has to go through the meter itself because there is no resistor, there is no parallel component to divide the current. So, the entire current draws through the meter itself. So, IFSD is equal to infinity, means maximum current. Whatever the maximum current is there, that maximum current flows through the meter only. So, that's why it goes to the maximum position. <clears throat> so, resistance is maximum and current is also maximum. So, this is the calibration of this shunt type ohm meter clear ah, now coming to the calculation part in the previous series type ohm meter we have calculated the resistor values r1 and r2 
we have done some exercise to calculate the values of R1 and R2. But now in the shunt type, we have to calculate only one resistor that is R1. We have to calculate only single resistor R1. Now, can you guess what will be the formula for this one? We no need to do any exercise for this. Same method what we have implemented in the previous case here also we have to implement it. One is that is to calculate the unknown values. Unknown value there we have two resistors but here we have only one resistor. And I said one point there we have to calculate the unknown components after eliminating the Rx from the circuit. After eliminating the Rx from the circuit. This matter comp matter or a circuit components we can calculate R1 can be calculated by eliminating the unknown resistor Rx from the circuit. If you eliminate Rx from the circuit, circuit looks like simple voltmeter. Observe clearly. If you eliminate this particular part between A and B, how the circuit looks like? How the circuit looks like? It simply appears like a voltmeter. A multiplier resistor R1 in series with the meter. In that case, what is the formula of resistor? V by IM minus RM. V by IM minus RM. This is the formula. No need to do any lot of calculations in the case of shunt type ohm meter like series type ohm meter. Series type ohm meter is somewhat different because there we have two resistors but here we have only one resistor that too when you eliminate the unknown resistor Rx it simply like, appears like your normal DC voltmeter. That's why it is very simple. Calibration is also in the conventional way from left to right. Okay. Understand the difference between series type and shunt type. Thank you.